Alfa Romeo is on the comeback trail, but to date, it's been missing part of the map. It relaunched here in the US in 2015 with the fantastic 4C Sports Coupe. Next came the Julia Sports Sedan, but there's been something missing. If you said crossover SUV, give yourself a gold star and stop emailing Alfa Romeo. It's here, it's the new Stelvio. Hi, I'm Joel Fetter here with your first wheel time of the new 2018 Alfa Romeo Stelvio. Its design is very closely related to that of the Julia sedan. The grille sits big and tall, but lower grilles and wide headlights give it some oomph in its stance. The rear end is just as grabby, though the sleek taper really cuts into usable cargo room. The Stelvio's cabin is arranged like that of the Julia. There's plenty of room up front, and these sports seats do their best interpretation of a friendly bear hug. But depending on your height, those in the rear seats are gonna have to negotiate for legroom with front seat passengers. The Stelvio does fine for weekend sprints to remote places, whether it's a Tennessee mountain home or a quicker run to the premium outlets of your choice. There's 18.5 cubic feet for stuff behind the second row and fold that down for a total of 56.5 cubic feet of space. Inside the Stelvio, you'll find a business-like cabin with real wood or aluminum trim and soft touch materials pretty much everywhere. But there's an overarching feeling of cheapness here that makes it feel not as well screwed together as the Germans. This infotainment system, it feels like a bad interpretation of BMW's iDrive and there's a hint of Audi MMI in there as well. Now, in some screens, it can take a minimum of three to four clicks of this controller just to change your radio presets. And this controller, it feels a little cheap. Base Stelvio Sprint with a two liter turbocharged engine under the hood, delivering 280 horsepower and 306 pound feet of torque. Now that's more power than a base BMW X3, Audi Q5, Mercedes-Benz GLC class, and Jaguar F-Pace. The thing is, all those models already have higher performance powertrains on the market today. A higher performance quadrifolio model is coming with a turbocharged 2.9 liter V6 with 505 horsepower. All Stelvios put power to the ground to all four wheels through an eight speed automatic transmission. Base Stelvios clawed at 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds. The Quadrifolio should drop that to under four seconds. Matching up with rivals, the Stelvio has EPA fuel economy ratings of 22 miles per gallon city, 28 miles per gallon highway, and 24 miles per gallon combined. In our first stint behind the wheel, we observed just over 18 miles per gallon in mixed driving according to the onboard trip computer. Driving the Stelvio is an experience BMW wishes is still delivered. There's passion here. From the lightning quick steering ratio of just 11.8 to one, to the DNA mode selector that changed everything from throttle response to suspension firmness with certain models suspension setups. But there is a fly in the gelato and it's the electronic braking system. While great when driven with passion and anger on the back roads or on the track, the issue is in city stop and go traffic, it's just really hard to modulate smoothly. On the features list, Stelvio is available with blind spot monitors, adaptive cruise control, automatic emergency braking and forward collision warnings, active lane control, and even an infrared heated windshield. Priced from just under $43,000, the Stelvio comes fairly well equipped with a 6.5 inch infotainment screen, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, 18 inch aluminum wheels, a carbon fiber drive shaft, leather seats, and remote start. Options range from larger wheels to an 8.8 .8 inch infotainment screen to a sport package. So what's the bottom line with the 2018 Alfa Romeo Stelvio? It finally delivers driving passion in a body style that makes sense for Americans. Reporting here from Nashville, I'm Joel Fetter, and thanks for watching. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.